All right, it is August 10th or 11th, 2020. And here's the progress of the beautiful garden, my haven. I have this little neck device on so I don't have to hold the camera. It's pretty awesome. The glories are, of course, sleeping because it's the afternoon. But let's see. They're kind of out of control and have nowhere to go. These are so, I love these, these are gorgeous. My zinnias. Then, let me backtrack. I had to pull out all the bricks and extend because they were, everything was growing so much. This is some mint I took out of my front yard because it was out of control and put it into pots. And then these glories just decided to grow on their own. So when I extended it, see how tall they are. It's up the little fencing all the way up. Like they're out of control. Up the gate and all the way over here. They literally have attacked my sunflower. Like my sunflower can't even breathe right now. It's definitely choked, but still beautiful. There's my, I love my garden. Yes. I actually love all my brickwork. I did it all by myself. Then over here, getting into my one of my favorite parts. Some more zinnias, some of my favorites, dahlias, my ultimate favorite flower. And this is my Charlie Brown hibiscus that I saved and brought back to life and it's beautiful. My all time favorite are these dahlias. I mean, just look at them. I call them, I think they're called candy cane dahlias, but just look at them. Oh my God, they're so amazing. This is my newest addition. Abby and I planted an apple tree. I've always wanted an apple tree. So I had nowhere to put it. So we figured this would be the best spot. So dear, do not get it. And I don't know if I'm going to get any apples this year, but still. And then I got this Hawaiian Escape Charlie Brown plant that's actually got some blooms on it. And it's gorgeous. And more zinnias. Okay, this is out of control because, again, I made a huge mistake by putting tomatoes and cucumbers and strawberries all by each other. And watermelon, actually. Kane wanted to do watermelon. I did not know how much they spread especially watermelon and cucumbers. So we're gonna go in here, and it's probably have a ton of cucumbers in here, because the leaves are, there's probably a ton of them in here that we're gonna cut and get out of here. Okay, these are really prickly though, so I have my glove on. I've been watering these like three times a day because it's so hot, these leaves are getting, sorry, I'm gonna make you dizzy. Hang on a minute. I know I saw some big ones in here that I got to get out of here. Okay, let's check it out. I know you're in here. Oh, there's a big one right there. Hang on. I don't want to step on anything, but oh my goodness. Holy moly. Look how big that this one is. Wowza. You are huge. Hang on. i make it dizzy for a second, but oh my goodness. Look at the size of this guy. Whoa. I'll compare it to my foot in a second. It looks, it's a lot bigger than it looks. Oh, here's another big one. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly. There's another one. They're prickly, though, so I have to wear gloves. Okay, what else? Let me go to the other side. Oh, God, these are heavy. Look at the size of these. And then I got my rosemary going. And basil. My fighter pit I made all by myself that I love. This archway here, if you can see this, I did this, I kind of constructed my own little, you'll see, it looks kind of stupid right now, but if you can see, I finally tightened it. This is going to go all the way across and it's going to reach that side and it's going to make a glory, like little, I don't know, entrance, I guess. This sunflower is absolutely incredible. It's amazing. This was an accident. Again, I will say that every single time. I did not mean to put it in my garden. A seed must have got in here, but this thing has got to be... 10, 11 feet tall, if not more, I don't know. But it's amazing. It has like so many different, it's not just one. There's already one, two, three, four, five of them open. And there's a ton of them they're about to open. Like they're so amazing. Oh, more cucumbers. Here's a cucumber. Okay, this one is prickly. I don't wanna I have my scissors. There we go, that one's done cucumber we'll put right here this is probably one of my favorite parts of the garden just because it came out so perfect there are my beautiful dahlias 
And this was from, I think, two bulbs. And look at how gorgeous they are. They went up to there. There's some down there. And then it just went out so perfectly with, like, the zinnias right here. And then the um, hibiscus is kind of hidden right there. And then there's beautiful marigolds. There's more dahlias that are going to be blooming. Those things over here that kind of look like, I don't even know, that's lupine. Marigolds. My clematis kind of died, but that's okay. And this is, which I don't even know where it begins, is the watermelon. I don't even know how to intertwine this anymore because it's so all over the place. But I don't think we're actually going to get a watermelon anyway. But Kane wanted to grow it, so I said yes. Oh, my God, actually, wait a minute. This has a flower on it. I got to untangle it. And there in the middle is grapes. Again, I don't think we'll get anything out of that. But you can see the tomatoes. Oh, my God, they're actually pretty big. I can see them. They're green, so I have to wait till they're red. But there's a ton of them. Oh, my goodness. But I got to get in here. I just got to make sure there's no bees because I'm allergic to bees. And kind of trim it up a little bit. Like, get all these dead leaves off of here. Like this, because these are gross. And they're just in the way. And once I get rid of all these, I'll clean it up a little bit. It'll look much better. But not the cucumbers in here. I'm sure there's more. Hang on. Oh my God, these are prickly leaves, though. Okay, let's see. I know there's a... I think, oh, there's a big one right there, right at the bottom. Oh, there's a couple of them. Little cucumber, or big cucumber, come here. Mm. Oh, he's huge. Yep. Oh, there's another one down there, but I don't know if I can reach down there. But I'm gonna try. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, hang on. Shoot. Oh, there's a lot of them hanging, but those aren't that big yet. Okay. All right. Oh, I just dropped my camera thing. GoPro. This thing is not working for me. Okay. Yeah. So I got, it's only in a couple days worth, got five more big cucumbers. I have oregano and rosemary, which I don't even use. I just have it to have it. And look at all these cucumbers. Yay. Love them. And they're so good. We have cucumbers like every day. So yeah, that's that. Um, that's the back part. It looks really pretty at nighttime. However, the video does not do justice for it, but I will have to take a nighttime video. And then I cannot wait until the blue glories open, which are my favorite, but those don't open until like September. But yeah, they're all sleeping right now. You can see they're sleeping. They're all curled up. They're only open. They wake up at like six and they go to sleep sometimes at like 11, 10, just depends. But you can obviously see these are out of control and they have nowhere to go. And they're going over the fence. I gotta have a cool neighbor um, that doesn't care about landscaping or anything. Um, but this thing's getting heavier and heavier, so I have to keep anchoring it down, but it's gonna look cool and they go all the way across. But you can also see these things climb up to about, I think my garage is 20 feet maybe. They're literally climbing up the entire gutter and going all the way up the garage. It's insane. These are my cactus lilies. I love them. They're beautiful. And look at the glories did on its own. Like they're literally so overgrown that all the way over here, they're going all the way up here and all the way up to the roof. It's crazy. I love this grass stuff. I just think it's awesome. And what else? Oh, my other hibiscus. I love hibiscus. Hibiscus. Yeah, these like literally, they're so beautiful. And then these will last a couple days and then fall off. And then new ones will come and they're just as beautiful. These are hollyhocks that got attacked by morning glories, I'm assuming. My chair that I can no longer sit in because the glories definitely took over my chair. And the side of my house and this chair. But it's beautiful and I love it. This is my haven. This is what it looks like. I love it. I have a fire going, just sitting back there and relaxing. It's amazing. Yes, this is what I do. Miracles. Sweet Allison, that's right. And then, real quick, I'll show you. This is going to be too long to upload, I think. Then, uh, more mint, of course. This is coleus, which is one of my favorite plants. And these all came from little tiny seeds, and I cannot believe it turned into this. Hey, is this lavender? Oh my god, I think a thing of lavender got in here, which it didn't grow anywhere else, but it grew here. Lovely. 
in the front or whatever. We need to start to do tomorrow, so real quick. I get all this and put some zingas here because deer do not eat those sometimes. They eat some of it though. And then the front, I put my new plant. This is a, a form of a hibiscus. It's amazing. It was a Charlie Brown one. I had one, it was beautiful, but then it kind of went down. So I have more blooms. And this is my crazy mint that is out of control. That literally started from like two plants, two little plants. And yep, yeah, it'll die. And then the next year just regrows back and looks like that. And then I rescued that little Charlie Brown tree back there and I saved it. It's all healthy now. Got all this. That's mint. That's all mint. That's spearmint, actually. And yeah. So that is my garden update for now.